My name is Michelle Hessler, and I'm the 2014 to 2015 CNSA Community Health Director. I'm here to show you the top reasons why you want to be a delegate this year at this year's convention. Awesome ribbons. See that? It says delegate. See that? That's when I was a candidate. If you're a candidate, you want to make sure that you have both of these ribbons on. It's really going to show your commitment to the organization. And this year, you're going to be getting a certificate of leadership showing that you went in and you participated in the House of Delegates and you had your voice heard. That can go in your portfolio. This year, we also will be having a friendly competition between schools, large and small. What it is is that it's going to be based on the highest percentage of delegate attendance. If your school is allotted six delegates and six show up, you get 100%. But if you have six delegates and only three show up, that's only 50. So this really is going to be a great competition between schools large and small. Support your fellow students. Your fellow students are bringing resolutions, which are issues that they think we should be supporting as an organization. It's your role as a delegate to decide whether or not you agree or disagree and or if you want more information on the matter. You yourself gain leadership. You get to speak in front of people. So that way, when you go to give report, it's not as scary because you've spoken in the House of Delegates. You're voting on the Board of Directors. You want to make sure that you have a voice in who the leadership is. You want to make sure that the state organization is going to be ran the way that you think it should be ran. You do that by voting. You could choose, hey, I really think this person will do great. This person's not really my favorite. The number one reason is that you have a voice. We want to make sure it's heard. We want to know, how do you feel on these issues? Is this something we should be supporting? Is this a person a good person for the board of directors? That's all of just a couple of the decisions you'll be making as a delegate. And just a FYI, you can also have an alternate, which means you don't have to be there the whole time. You can swap out, take breaks. I hope this has cleared up a couple issues. If you have any other questions about being a delegate, please check out our, the delegate section of our webpage at www.cnsa.org.